So this is an introduction to Agile for remote teams. And it's really intended as a guide to implementing the Agile methodology and framework Scrum, regardless of whether you're in the office or you're stuck in a coronavirus lockdown with a distributed team, or you're just out in the wild, this is the course for you. So about me, my name is Gemma, I'm a CTO, I'm a cloud architect, I'm also a new business developer and an agile evangelist. I have been working for around the last 16 years in technology. I've worked in diverse sectors, including advertising, broadcasting, shipping, finance and healthcare. And I've also worked internationally from New Zealand to Norway, and I've led more teams than I can actually remember at this point. So I've been exposed to all kinds of environments, whether you're a SaaS vendor or whether you're a large corporate or whether you're a scrappy startup, I'm sure I can advise on how to best implement an agile transformation or an agile methodology into your organization. So about this course, so this course is really intended as a pragmatic introduction to be able to train your team remotely, to be able to train your team in the office, if you're in an office, or to be able to pass an entry level certified exam if that's your goal. However, it's not really intended for advanced teams and it's not affiliated with any particular certified exam provider. So this course was originally created for a group of product managers and it was originally intended to get you up and running with the team within one day. So it's a very practical introduction focusing on the kind of techniques and approach and mindset that you need in order to be able to walk back to your team environment the next day and literally just be comfortable with implementing exactly what you've learned the day before. So regardless of your environment, whether you're in a big corporate environment, whether you're in a small startup, whether you're a distributed team or whether you're physically in an office space, it doesn't matter. This is a very practical hands-on introduction to get you started from scratch. So there are several different Agile frameworks and approaches out on the market, all of which really originated with the Agile Scrum approach. However, as these methodologies have matured, there has emerged a division between the enterprise level, so the kind of large organizations, your big corporates, and the small business level. But you will still find Scrum used in a range of different organizations of different sizes and also combined with other product delivery and organizational frameworks. So depending really on what your goal is, the size of your organization as well, you may want to take a further look at some of these certified training providers and organizations. So for pure Scrum, there are broadly two organizations and they are scrum.org and the Scrum Alliance. And they have various levels of certification from entry level right through to professional trainer uh, expert level. So the Scrum Alliance, they have separate tracks for Scrum Master, for product owners and for developers starting at right from scratch, right up to the professional level. However, if you look at Scrum.org, they also have three levels of assessment, but they don't split it out into the different roles. Now, I will come to talk about the different roles a bit later in the course. For enterprise environments, there are several popular approaches. Probably the most popular is safe scaled agile, but also to mention Prince2 and the PMI Institute, which both have their own agile project methodology and offerings. So these frameworks are designed really for large enterprises, which require a level of program and portfolio governance. So a level of coordination across a large organization, which is obviously 
much harder to manage and it adds a lot more complexity. So for these frameworks, I would strongly suggest taking a certified training. However, the costs are quite high. So if budget is your concern and you're just starting out well, this course and an entry level certification will be enough to help you. However, if you are going to change jobs and improve your employment opportunities and want to focus in this area, then these certifications can be a handy addition to your CV. So what tools and materials do you need for this course? So I have split out the toolkits and materials into remote and in-person training tracks. So if you're taking the remote track, I strongly suggest that you mix and combine different solutions as it's only by interacting across a range of different mediums and mechanisms that you will actually be able to commit information to memory. So I've listed several different solutions here uh, for the different types of collaboration that you may want to enable and you will need to enable through the course. So if you haven't come across these before, Miro, Mural or FigJam. So these are interactive whiteboards and essentially you can create your own sticky notes or you can write, you can create notes. There are different templates in there. I will just show you the websites just briefly of Miro and Mural. And if you haven't got an account, I strongly suggest that you sign up. For other types of collaboration for visual, written, or even audio based, you may want to consider solutions like Slack, Discord, or MS Teams, or possibly even Clubhouse, Zoom, Google Meet, or even maybe an old fashioned conference call. I guess the only caveat with something like Clubhouse is that obviously all of the clubs on Clubhouse are open to the public. So you may have random people jumping in and wondering what on earth you're doing in your meeting. Now for in-person training, you will need two to 300 lightweight plastic balls and it will become apparent why you will need these in one of the exercises a bit later in the course. You will also need paper and marker pens, a whiteboard and more marker pens to use on that whiteboard. And you will need a printer for all of the PDF handouts, which you can find towards the end of this course as well. So I'll give you a few minutes to grab a coffee and to decide which solutions you are going to use for collaborating with your team over the next few hours of this training session. And I'll see you in the next lesson.